Hello everyone, in this demo I am going to show you how to cascade one drop down list with another. And this is a video on demand. A video on demand is a feature that we have in our portal where a user can log in and request for a video. So I have a database, a country and a state. In country, I have country ID and country name. And state, I have state ID, state name and country ID. Now what I want, whenever I select any country in first drop down list, it should reflect in the second drop down list and it should show me all the states which are related to that particular country. So what do I do? I'll just go and have my drop down list and I'll just name it as DDL country and I am going to configure this as we have seen all these things in our previous videos I will be going to select a new data source database and I will be connecting to the organization DB next next and I will say country ID country name and say next test the query I have the list of country India, US, UK, Saudi, Dubai. I will just finish this and let the display item be country name. I will say OK. And I am going to edit items and I will add select item and let the initial value be 0. Say OK. And I will save this. Now I will take one more drop down list and I will name it as DDL state. Now I'll configure even this, choose a data source, I'll go for new data source, database, and the same connection string that we have connected to, and this time I'm going to select state and I'll say state ID, state name, say next, test the query. I have got all the states. Now I'll say finish. Let the display item be state name. Say OK. Now I'll just go for edit items. I'll add a select item here. Select. Let the value be 0. And do not forget to append the data bond item true. And I'll set append data bond items true so that that select item should get reflected in my drop down list. Now I'm going to execute this. Now, if you observe, I have got two drop down list. First is country drop down list, next is state drop down list. In country drop down list, I have got all the countries, and state drop down list, I have got all the states. But I don't want in this sense. What I want is whenever, if I do not select anything, nothing should be get selected in this state's drop down list. Now, from here, if I select India, it should filter this next drop down list and it should display me all the states related to India. That is nothing but from Andhra Pradesh till Rajasthan. It means that I need to change the data of second drop down list depending upon the request from first drop down list. So data of first drop down list need not to be changed. Only the data of second drop down list should be changed. That means I need not to change the query of first drop down list. I need to change the query of second drop down list. So let me go back to my visual studio. Select the second drop down list. So configure data source. Now this time I will say I want to select all the states in the drop down list where the column name country ID is equals to I want this ID to get from a control that I have on the page. On the page I have two controls drop down list country and drop down list state. But I want the country ID to come from drop down list country and I will say add, say ok, next, finish. I will save this. Now one more thing that we need to do, whenever I select the country from first drop down list, my page should get reloaded. That means a postback should occur. So I need to click on smart tag and I will say enable postback. I will execute this.
now if you see in the second drop down list there is no data available that means i haven't selected anything now the select index is 0 and its value is 0 so it is passing 0 to the state drop down list and it does not find any state with country id as 0 now i'll select india now you see that i have got all the states which are related to india now if i select usa now if you observe i am getting all the states related to usa and it is appending the new result to the old result it means that it is not clearing the old result it is not flushing the old result it is appending the old result with new result see that it is appending the old result to the new result now what is that i need to do i need to set a single property of the second drop down list that is nothing but enable view state is true i need to change it to false so that it should not carry the old result on the same page between different post bags so i have set a single property of second drop down list that is nothing but enable view state to false that's it and it should work I got India states if I select USA I got only states from USA if I select Saudi I got like I do not have any states from Saudi if I select UK I got the states from UK so that's it it is very simple to cascade your two drop down list now in the same sense you can proceed for cascading three drop down list like selecting country then state depending upon state it should display all the cities of that particular state so in that case you can you will have one more table called as cities where state id is associated to your state table and you will be writing a where clause on city and you are going to cascade even the third drop down list so that's it it is very simple thank you very much mm -hmm.